All right, guys. We just out riding, looking at everything this morning. It's still extremely wet. I don't know. It's, it needs to dry up bad. We need to be spraying. Everything's growing up. We we'll keep getting here to clean it up. It's just a, we just got in. We got it. We went from everything being super good, looking super great, to everything is just looking like turds now. It has rained for two weeks solid. Extreme amounts of rain. I mean, the crops look good. They just feel good. I mean, you can't hit a metal with a motorcycle now. You can see, I don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but you see how growed up that is. Everything's just growed up. Ain't nothing you can do about it though when it's been as wet as it is. We've got six, six or seven inches of rain the past, I don't know, nine, 10 days. But the core looks good. It just, it's just a growed up mess. It is what it is. I mean, you can't get in there to spray it. So, guys we we pulled over here here's some of the cotton that's what we're dealing with you see that water log all that all that water stood on it and it is done they ain't a stalk of it up you got it I knew it would have. That'll be a that'll uh, replant all that. All the flats I have to be replanting. We go over here to Brody's, see what it looks like. It should be in pretty good shape. Cotton, cotton's kind of like a duck. It don't like mud on its butt. But, uh, get over here, Brody's. I'll show y'all that crop. All right, everybody. We're up here at Brody's looking at this cotton. I know you can't hardly see it. Get down here. Get the camera down here so y'all can see it. I'm going to get out of my shadow. Let's turn around this way. Hell. There you go. Now you can see it. Cotton's a little bee. But.
we do have cotton here which this is a this is a high rolling farm and uh water can't stand on this one it just runs off but cotton looks real good shanked up there what i mean by shanked up there you see that big long shank on it roots look real good healthy and cotton has a tap root it, it it don't have many fibrous roots but it grows one heck of a tap root but the cotyledons look good they're healthy no chemical damage no thrip damage which we spray for thrips right out the gate right behind the planter and that really helps with a with the thrip pressure but this cotton looks really good see it right there let me turn y'all around here it's hard to do this one-handed but looks real good real good I think this is the best farmer cotton we got so far This is DPNL 2038, I believe. It's just fixing to put its first true leaf on. You can see it way down in there. See its first true leaf right there? The first two that don't that come out, that's the cotyledons. You don't count them. This cotton's fixing to take off. Well, we're gonna go look a little bit more. All righty, guys. I mean, here at Reed Farms or Crop Critic, whatever you wanna call it, we don't just showcase all the good. We'll show you the bad. See right in here, water stood on this cotton. And you can see there is nothing. But you can see them two strands of fertilizer. See them right here? But there is no cotton here. Nothing. All this right here is going to be replanted. All this. Cotton just can't take it. You just can't take it. But that's part of it. I mean, that's that's playing the cotton game. You just don't ever know. It's so finicky that uh, all it takes is a little bit of water standing on it and it's done. But you can see how big an area this is. See how wet this is? It's a pretty good size area right here. But there isn't any cotton. And there'll be some on the other side of the road, too. We'll just have to... Probably, uh... Probably what we do is come in here and spot plant it. Because there's a lot of cotton here. And I hate to come in here and tear it all up to... Come in here and plant two or three acres. But... By the time this dries up, you'll be able to see the cotton a little better and we'll make a better decision then on whether to tear it up and replant it all or just to come in here and spot it out. But I don't know. It's just a, it's aggravating. Me and cotton, we got a love-hate relationship. But anyway, we're going to see if we can find some beans and show you all the beans. All right, guys, here we are. And some of the soybeans they look really nice put the second trifoliate on right there there's the first 
there's a second. So it ain't gonna be long and they're gonna get be ready to be burnt back. But they look real good. And I believe these may be as grow beans. I have to go back and look at my plant book, but look real good. Look real good. I like 30 inch row beans. Simply because I can throw that liquid fertilizer on them. Beans don't make enough nitrogen on their own. You, you, you need to add a little bit. But you can see they look real good. Look real good. Well, all we do is sit around and play the waiting game. We're going to head back to the shop and see what we can get into today. We're going to slip in here and go look at this patch of cotton back here if we can get back there. In row is still a little faint. Get out here, and you can row it. Cotton so hard to see. But you can row it. Good and healthy. But that was the last one we planted. But we got a lot of replant to do. I know that. That's the luck of the draw of cotton. You just never know. Sometimes you hit it just right. And sometimes you don't. But we'll just replant it. In a hundred years, nobody will know any difference. But it's fixing rain again. We just can't catch a break. It rains every day. Well, we've got about uh, four inches of rain the last, I don't know, two or three days.
to show um, my weird family. Um, as you can see, this is what we do on a um, lovely Sunday morning. We cut three. <laughs> Um, there's Drake. Oh, you can't see him. He's being very patient because this is very loud. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say, but like, this is our life. Raw footage. Hello, my name is Drake and uh, I am very hungry and I really, really, really want to go outside but uh, I'm not allowed to go outside because my mom's mean and I like to run around and roll and poop. And I am just very excited my tail's waggling 100 miles an hour. Oh, I just got really, really excited. Really excited. I am wanting to go outside really bad. Oh, I heard a rat in there. Oh, that's just Molly. Up oh, here's Molly. Hi, Molly. <laughs> so now everyone's picking it up. I don't have shoes on, so that's my excuse to not um, pick up. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna help. But, um. Cut! So now's the fun part of picking all of this. Oh. I don't have shoes on, so I'm gonna say I can't help. Just kidding. I should probably put shoes on. Um. We'll go watch Mighty Woman drag sticks. <laughs> she looks so cute, don't she? Using her muscles to pull this log bigger than she is. <laughs> And yeah, I don't know where any of the other gang is, but. Okay, so we are walking to the Trash Pandas game. We're very excited. We're going to watch some baseball. <laughs> We're going to get us a baseball hot dog, ballpark hot dog. Are you excited about that? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Too wet to do anything, so we're going to enjoy this afternoon.
somebody is wearing these peanuts out. I'm making a mess too. I'm them everywhere. We just need to go over and get some cold beer. Well, we had a blast at the ball game. But we're going to try to get out of here and beat the traffic. This point, you can't take them nowhere. But we had a good time here at the ball game here in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, too wet to work. I hope we get back in the field tomorrow, get everything cleaned up, and try to climb out, climb out behind this eight ball we've got behind. We got a lot of catching up to do. But uh, we'll work hard this week. Try to get some corn side dress, get some corn sprayed. This bunch is still hollering. You can't take them nowhere. Look what they can make a bunch of kids and come on. Y'all let her fool you. He acts a fool all the time, too. Y'all remember where we parked? Yep, yep. Here. Way out there on yeah. the ground. Yeah, way out here. Get some of that awesome yeah, we need that VIP parking. <laughs> well, we're gonna head back to across the state line. We had a blast today. Please don't tell them what these people get for this land right out here. Same person owns it all. No telling. The good farmlands, this is what they're doing to it, stacking houses in here. That was a cotton field two years ago. Now it's called Cotton Estates. Yeah, now it's called Cotton Estates, no kidding. It's even on the side. Oh, I know you won't be able to see it, no, but on the side. Yeah, Cotton Estates. Cotton Estates. And just wide open farmland. We're in Newmarket, Alabama. Yeah. 